in Pennsylvania, you are allowed to be a good Samaritan. I know that's really great. You can do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And that's kind of what goes on when it comes to the law of self-defense of third parties. Third parties just means anyone but you. The law makes no distinction when it comes to someone who's close family members or a stranger. What it really does is take a look at the situation that that other person is in to see if self-defense is justified. Remember, we have two levels of self-defense. We have lethal, deadly self-defense, which is very clear under the law, which has a very limited window, which is if you're in imminent, meaning immediate, now, fear of serious bodily injury, death, kidnapping, or sexual assault under the totality of the circumstances, and it's reasonable, then lethal deadly force is authorized under the law. Now when it comes to events less than that, then it depends upon the situation, your level of force that's going to be authorized. For example, if someone shoves your loved one, shoves my spouse, you can't display a gun and shove it in their face or shoot them. I mean, that's going to be murder or criminal attempt homicide or aggravated assault. At the very least, it's going to be a simple assault just by pointing the gun at someone. You've escalated it beyond uh, what is called for. Um, but however you change those facts and circumstances, someone's got a bat and is about to hit my wife, is within striking distance, and has, under the totality of the circumstances, shown imminence that they intend to do so it's game on. Lethal deadly force is allowed. And there's all this gray area in between, but it's very important for you as a legally armed citizen to be playing that when then game. When this happens, then I'll do this. And play it out in your mind and see about those levels of force. Because the worst thing you want to do is be in that situation for the first time without doing that mental check first.